Schmo with the pro. He's on a six fight win streak. He's 10 and three. He's the Bellator featherweight, Aaron Pico in the flesh. California, how we doing? I'm doing well. I'm super happy to be here in Southern California and fighting in front of my friends and family. But I think I'm really happy because I'm standing doing an interview with you. So life is good. We appreciate it. We're right back in the city where you started this win streak, man. You got Jeremy Kennedy. You just made weight. Why is this fight going to be different than all other fights? Or is it just going to be business as usual going for the seventh straight? No, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. It's just business as usual. I don't look at one fight and say this is bigger than the other. At the end of the day, they're all important. So uh, that's the way I'm taking it. I trained how I trained for everybody else. I am a fucking madman and I train a lot and I'm ready for this fight. Does this fight get you the title shot next? I mean, we're talking seven fight win streak. Or what are your expectations getting your hand raised Saturday evening in Long Beach? No, my hand, my hand will be raised and I will fight for a world championship in 2023. There's no doubt about it. I'm just gonna, not going to try to tiptoe around the question. I am ready to be a great champion and uh, Scott Coker do my job Saturday night. I'm there's no question. I'm Give me the, the opportunity to show I'm the best fighter in Bellator. We got six-gun Brandon Gibson off in the corner. We got the training at Jackson Wink. It's no secret, man. The win streak, it's tied with the gym, with the change in scenery, and obviously with you first and your attitude and what you do, man. You train there with a lot of killers. You had Clarissa Shields come by. You had Tony Ferguson. Obviously got John Bones Jones, man. What's the biggest learning lesson that you've got so far for this training camp inside those confines? Uh, that's a good question. Um, back to what you were saying, you know, because this fight, everybody's saying is for a title shot, and, every, and, and, and people sometimes get in their own head, well, I have to win this fight, I have to do this fight. No, you don't have to do anything. As long as you prepared the way that you usually done, and you know in your, your mind that you're 100% ready for the fight, it's just another day. So I think that's, that's the biggest thing. I talked to John the other day. He said, winners win. Just go out there and win. We expect you to win, and, and I expect to win, too. That's the right mindset to have. What about extra tickets? We know you got the family here. Any extracurriculars that you have to account for here in Strong Beach? No, the tickets are all squared away. Luckily, my dad and brother have that all, all um, ready to go. So I'm not, I'm not having to struggle because that, you know, tickets and people asking for tickets can be a big problem. But uh, luckily, I have a co good group of friends who I've have tickets and, and things like that. So everything's good. I'm just ready to fight Saturday. And a fresh David August suit in line for tomorrow evening as well in the post fight? Yeah, I, I just saw my suit. Shout out to David August. It's actually purple. It's a light purple. So it's probably one of the nicest suits that I have to date. Coincidence the Schmo's wearing a purple turtleneck? I think not. Final message for all the Aaron Pico fans out there worldwide. No, guys, I just want to say thank you for all the support through the ups and downs. Uh, we're on a great uh, win streak. And uh, let's have some fun Saturday night. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. Bellator 286. We're out.